and presenting the two finalists competing for title Grandmaster, Lady Trinity Lamont, daughter of Grand Duke of Marinsdale, known as the Masked Knight, and Crown Prince of the Nation, Cedric Vanberg. From that day on, I became a legend. Lady Trinity, it's time to wake up. You're heading to the palace to meet Prince Cedric. Uh... You see, I was not a very bright child. In fact, I was the perfect lady back then. Poised, mannered, educated, and elegant. But I had no passion. All right, miss. I'll get your bath ready. You look lovely, miss. Your father is waiting for you outside. Me and my father had a very complex and distant relationship. We disagreed on most things, but we still respected each other. Hello, Your Grace. Good morning, Trinity. The carriage is waiting for us outside. When we get to the palace, remember to treat the Crown Prince with respect. Yes, Your Grace. May I present my daughter, Trinity, of the House Lamone? It is an honor to be in your presence, Your Majesty and Highness. What a lovely young lady. I have heard many great things about you, Lady Trinity. I am honored to hear that. This is Cedric, my son. The crown prince of the nation, Cedric von Berg, was going to be my soon-to-be fiancé. He was 16 at the time, and I was only 13. Nice to meet you, Lady Trinity. It is normal for nobles to be married at a young age, sometimes as early as 10 years old. The women of noble families spend their lives learning to become the best wife for their husband. Learning how to host social events, embroidery, and things to support their husband. Men of noble families learn to become the next head of their house, or become someone successful to bring honor to their noble house. I must excuse myself. My personal tutor will be arriving soon. It was a pleasure meeting you, Lady Trinity. The pleasure is all yours. Perhaps I should get up and walk for a bit. Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry if I disturbed you, sir. Oh, that's alright. I bet you were just curious. I've just been exploring the palace. It's huge, isn't it? <laughs> I'm Trinity. Host La Monet! I didn't realize I was talking to Lady Trinity. I apologize. I would have been more mannered. I'm Kari, head of the Knights of Vonderberg, as well as His Highness's sword coach. It's a pleasure to meet you. That sword is truly elegant in the light. It was crafted by the best blacksmith in our nation. What a beauty. Want to give it a try? Uh, huh? Excuse me, but I'm a lady. It's forbidden. Anyone can wield a sword. Even a woman. I must politely refuse. I understand. Now I must get back to my work. It was an honor meeting you. He said anyone can wield a sword. Perhaps I could too. A little try wouldn't hurt anyone. I had never felt anything as good as this. Wielding such a weapon made me feel in a way I had never felt before. From the blade of this sword, a legend would be born. Miss, are you not worried that Princess Talia might take your fiance away from you? I, in fact, actually approve of that marriage. It will strengthen our ties with the Kingdom of Divine anyways. <laughs> You really changed over these past few years. The young emotionless miss I used to know has grown into a strong woman. <laughs> Will you ever tell anyone about your identity? 
As the Masked Knight? Every swords master fears you. But yet, they don't know the beautiful young lady behind the mask. <sighs> How I wish I could reveal my identity. But what would they think of a swordswoman? <sighs> You're right. It's best to keep this a secret. Much had happened between those four years. In fact, after wielding that sword for the first time, I began to watch Kari teaching Cedric from a distance to learn the sword myself. After learning the basics, I searched the city for someone who would teach me the sword. But all of them rejected me due to one reason. I was a woman. So I put myself in a mask and wore men's clothes and tried again. They accepted me at a first glance. After training for years, I had competed in many tournaments and won them all. My name was feared amongst all swordsmen, and the only one who knew my identity was Laura, my maid who was just like a mom to me. Lady Trinity, did you hear? Talia spent the night in His Highness's bedroom last night. <gasps> That's horrible, Lady Trinity. Aren't you his rightful fiance? It's nothing new. I have known for a while that Princess Talia might become his fiancé and- And you're alright with this? Yes. Our marriage was only going to work if there weren't going to be any political marriages. Then, what will you do if Princess Talia takes his highness away from you? <clears throat> Pardon me, ladies. I must speak to Lady Trinity privately. What do you need, your highness? Have you heard of the upcoming hunting event? Yes. All the nobles and well-known swordsmen would be there to participate. Yes, I have heard. I need you to accompany me at the event. But I was going to go as the mask tonight. You know I don't like hunting events. <sighs> I know, but this is His Majesty's request. I must refuse. Perhaps you could ask Princess Talia to accompany you. Princess Talia isn't my fiancé. She will be. <sighs> Why must you be so stubborn? Do you that badly not want to be with me? I... have things to attend to. Fine. Be like that. I guess I will ask Princess Talia. Look, ladies! It's the Masked Knight! Oh god, this is so weird! They think I'm a man! Welcome, Masked Knight. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you, your highness. This is my soon-to-be fiancé, Princess Talia. It's a pleasure to meet you, Masked Knight. I've heard a lot about you and your skills. Why do I feel a tiny pang of sadness? Is it because I've been friends with Cedric since I was 13 and... soon we will break apart? You are an amazing swordsman. So many people wonder who you are behind the mask. Thank you, but your highness is just as good a swordsman as me. <laughs> Don't be modest. The event will start soon. Whomever brings back the best game will be the honored guest of the event. My only competition here is Cedric. I would win otherwise. Who do you think will win the event? His Highness is the expected winner. It would really impact his reputation if someone else wins. I believe my darling His Highness should easily win this. But the Max Knight might win this. I know! Isn't he the dream husband? I wonder who he is behind the mask. Alright. I must find the Golden Beast. It's the biggest and hardest game to kill. I feel its presence. Great! He's here too? Don't think for a second I'll just let you have the game I fought for too. That's alright, because I wasn't planning on letting you have it either. Ugh, 
I'm sorry, father. I've brought shame to our name. No, son, you did well. You aren't the problem. It's the Masked Knight. Sadly, it is. But I can't do anything about it. I respect his sword abilities as another swordsman. Hmm. That's very mature of you. But I need you to find out who the Masked Knight is. I'll let this one win for the Masked Knight slide. But the next time there is a public event like that, we must ensure that the Crown Prince looks strong and capable, more than anything. I understand, Father. All right, it should be safe to take off my mask now. Uh. Trinity! 